you know, it was the 4th of July and my husband said, before you know it, it'll be Christmas. Here we are. Hi, I'm Jenna and I'm an eyeshadow addict. If you guys love eyeshadow content as much as I do, then please subscribe before you leave. If you, if you like this video today or found it helpful or inspiring, please give it a like. For today's video, we've all been there, right? If you've been in Walmart, you've seen that Christmas gift section. I'm gonna put a little clip up right now so you can see it. I decided that I was gonna pick one up and give it a try, see how I like it, see how it turns out. So this is what I picked up. It was $5. This is what it comes with. It comes with a five pan eyeshadow palette. It comes with highlighter, blush, and this says it's powder foundation. I'm assuming maybe it means like contour bronzer, I'm assuming. And it comes with two lip glosses, two lipsticks, face primer, and blush brushes. <laughs> All right, are you guys ready to see how this turns out? Let's go look. So this is the one that I picked out. This one was $5, because fun fact, I'm cheap, <laughs> frugal, tight, whatever you want to call it. And I didn't want to spend $10, $15 on something that I just might use once and give away when that's $10 to $15 that I could use for a palette I actually want. So I just want to try this out and give it a, give it a shot. Um, I have some makeup on, so I don't know. We'll try out some of these. Another fun fact, I do not own a red lipstick. <laughs> um, I just don't like the way red looks on me. Is this even red or is it pink? I don't know, let's open it and find out. I don't own red lipstick, but I have green gloss. All right, we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty and we're going to use the eyeshadow palette. So let's get started with this. And I do wanna say that um, this has no name on it. I, I'm just not sure if Walmart produces these. I mean, it just says, 18 piece cosmetic set. Uh, it's made in China, but there's no name. And I'm not gonna lie, that kind of concerns me. <laughs> oh. All right, well, let's get started. All right, guys, these are the swatches. This first matte right here, I mean, it really, really is almost the same color as my skin. So now let's see how it performs on the eyes. All right, so this is the colors that we have. It looks like we have uh, two mattes and then three shimmers. So I'm gonna use my brushes. I'm not gonna use the brushes in the set because I actually wanna give this a fair shot. So I'm gonna use my brushes. I know how they work. I'm just gonna go in with the lightest, I'm just gonna go in with the lightest color right here. All right, I'm going in quite a few times. Let's pick some up. Okay, I mean, this color is pretty close to my my skin color, so it's gonna be hard to see in general, but I mean, I can see it. It is showing up so far. It's not too bad. I mean, it's more than I thought. All right, now we're gonna go in with the second mat here. Pick that up on the brush. Oh boy, okay. I really gotta pick a lot up. It's pretty, pretty light. So these are not gonna be super pigmented. Okay, really building this up. I think this is about as built up as it's going to get. I think I'm gonna go in with the darkest shimmer to build up the outer corners. I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit more. All right, now I'm gonna take this one and I'm going to build it up. The shimmers. So as I've tried to apply this with my finger, not much is showing up. So I've gone in with a brush and I'm like really, really digging it in there. And I'm still not getting a whole lot on the brush. Gonna spray it. 
And then you can kind of see, I mean, it does show up a little bit more, but I mean, the shimmers aren't really too bad. All right, now I'm gonna go in with this darker one to try to see if I can darker, to darken up the outer corner. And I'm also gonna spray it. It's not too bad. All right, let's try blending it out a bit and see how that works. Because I'm kind of noticing with the mattes when I go to blend, where I put the second, the darker matte, it kind of just lay there and just didn't really want to blend out too well. All right, now I'm gonna go, oh, okay, I was gonna use my finger, but it's not really showing up too well with my finger. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna try this one, pick it up. Yeah, see, I mean, it's okay. Let me add a little bit more. I'm gonna go with this darker matte for the lower lash line. And then I think on the bottom, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take this one all the way across the bottom, kind of lighten it up a little bit. I'm gonna go put some mascara on and then I'm gonna try out the blushes and that that come with it and see how that looks. I'll be right back. All right, so this one, it says, is a powder, powder foundation. I'm assuming that this is gonna be more like a bronzer. Let me swatch this. Huh, that's an interesting feeling. Okay, they're right here and here. This is the highlight. The pink one looks like it might be almost iridescent. I'm gonna swatch them. Very powdery. All right, can we see this? All right, this is the pink, and this is the like goldish. Is all right. I'm gonna go in with. I'm trying to say we gotta put all this. I'm gonna go in with this side first, the more gold color. And I'm gonna put this right here. That's actually kind of pretty. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with the pink, and I'm gonna put this up on the high point of the cheek. Get over here. Oh my. Nice bring it on the apples of the cheek. I think uh, once I spray, I'm thinking it might settle down a little bit. We'll see how it looks after I spray. All right. All right, I think I'm gonna go in with what they're calling powdered foundation, but I think it's probably more like a contour. I'm gonna attempt, I wanna see if this would contour. Oh boy. Oh wow, that is really, really white. Let's try going over the highlight a little bit. All right, I'm gonna try going in with the other side. Okay, you can see it on the brush there. I don't know, I just don't know what to think about this. Well, I do know what to think, but I'm trying to be optimistic here. Okay, I think we're gonna add some blush and, and wrap this up. All right, let me grab my blush brush. This is pretty color though. See how pigmented it is. Okay, looks like we're okay. Okay, the blush is actually pretty. Especially with the highlighter. Maybe the blush is gonna save the day. I actually like the blush. I might keep this around for a little bit and see how it works. Now, what lipstick are we gonna go for? Swatch them both for you. Oh, this is interesting. This is kind of like a glossy, I wouldn't say so much a lipstick as maybe like, it's a, it's a very sheer, like glossy formula. 
Let me, I'm gonna try the red one on and then I'll probably just keep the pink one on. Ah, that's actually pretty good. Not too bad, I, I, I still don't like red on me, but um, it's very slippery. It actually feels pretty good. Feels like there's like there's an uh, an oil in it or something. That's actually very nice. All right, I'm gonna go uh, take this one off so I can put the other one on. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the pink one. I don't know. I feel like this is more like a spring color too. So I don't know. I just I don't, I don't know. How. I don't really think that you would need a gloss over this one too. But I'm gonna try this one. Let me swatch these. This one has some pretty shimmer in it. Okay, this one's more opaque, and then this one has like some shimmer, glitter in it. I don't know if you guys, yeah, you can kind of see it right there, I think. I think we're gonna try that one. Oh, that smells horrible. Mm, now you can feel the glitter. What is that? Oh my God, okay. <laughs> Uh, we live in a farming community and when they lay the grapes out to dry, it gets this smell. What does it smell like? It's not good. Yeah. I hope this turns out to be an interesting video. Okay guys, this is the finished look. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys think? I mean, it's not horrible. I mean, it's it's okay. I mean, it's not the, the best formula, of course, I've ever tried. The shimmers are very dry. I don't, the mattes, oh boy. I just feel like it's kind of muddied into each other a little bit. And I do feel like it's already starting to lose some of um, like the opaqueness to it. I keep thinking like I have a mascara right here, but it's not. I don't know what's going on right here. I don't know what's going on right there. And I did uh, use some setting spray. I think that did help it uh, kind of go into the skin a little bit, look a little bit better because it was just laying right on the skin. This, um, this highlighter, I actually kind of like it. It's not too bad. It's kind of pretty. The blush. I just feel like everything's already kind of uh, starting to disappear. You know what I mean? It doesn't have like that impact. It doesn't have the pigment that you need for it to stay. So, I mean, it's okay. If you're buying stuff like this for somebody in your life that likes makeup, maybe they're just beginning, maybe they're young, maybe they need practice, this would be a good little practice kit. Um, besides that, if if you have someone in your family that likes makeup and you don't want to spend a lot of money, I would recommend some Wet n Wild or Elf or I know Ulta has their own brand. ColourPop, you could pick up at Target now. I would recommend those for people that really like makeup. For someone that's just getting into makeup, they just want to play around with it for practice, I think this would be fine. I really do. I think it would be fine. The shimmers aren't that bad. Um, for practice, I think it would be good. If I were to rate this, I don't really do my rating anymore, but if I were to rate this on a scale from one to 10, 10 being the best of the best indie eyeshadow you've ever used, and one being kids makeup, the kind of the toy aisle, this would be a three. It's fun. So I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, what can I say? I hope I saved my receipt. I'm just joking. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And um, until I see you next time, uh, I hope you have a fantastic day.